When you are working with larger data sets, you may wish to create named ranges quickly. So to name individual cells or ranges based on their row labels or column labels, we use the create from selection command in Excel. Hello and welcome to Excel in Excel. In this video, we are going to learn how to automatically generate names using create from selection in Excel. The data set presented here portrays the revenue earned in the month of January, February and March for the respective products. So to create a named range in any normal scenario, we would select the range, go to the name box and key in a name there. But this isn't feasible when you have larger data sets and you wish to name the ranges based on their row labels or column labels. In such scenarios, the create from selection comes handy. Now let's take a look on how it works. So select the entire data, including the title, go to the formulas tab, click on the create from selection option. A dialog box with create names from selection will pop up. Alternatively, you can use the shortcut Ctrl Shift F3 to land in this dialog box. The dialog box has four options, the top row, the left column, the bottom row and the right column. By default, Excel has selected the top row and left column, identifying them as title names. You can use the two other options as per their relevance. Once you click OK, the named ranges are being created. When you click on the drop down of the name box, you will find the named ranges there. If you click on a name, you will be redirected to that particular range. Let's say you click on laptop. The range associated with laptop gets highlighted. Similarly, if you click on January, the range associated with January gets highlighted. It is now much easier to use them in formula also as this helps in better understanding of formula. For example, if you want to calculate the sum of revenue earned in January, you have to write in the formula sum, type in the named range created like JAN January, select it by hitting the tab key, and enter. If similarly, if you want to find it for February, you have to key in the formula, select the respective named range, enter. If you want to calculate for March, type in the formula, key in the particular range. Now, if you take a look at the formula, you can easily comprehend that we have calculated the sum of revenue for the month of March. So this is all about creating names from selection. Give a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and do not forget to hit subscribe button and press the bell icon for instant updates. See you in the next video.